Hey, how's it going, guys? It's a hot one today. Heat index is uh, 115 degrees, and uh, we're trying to install a radio in my buddy's 1993 R33. <laughs> so, prepared to see a bunch of boys just sweating it out, trying to get a radio in, in a car that doesn't even run yet. <laughs> but we will uh, be filming that as well. Uh, he just ordered a new Walburl 255 uh, fuel pump. For, it's actually for an S chassis, but I told him I think that we could modify it and make it work in his R chassis. So, so right now I am waiting for my friends to show up uh, for us to put the radio in. Uh, just kind of walking around in my car. I was thinking about maybe doing a uh, just kind of like a little breakdown on my car. Uh, if you guys are interested in knowing about what's going on with it. It is super dirty currently. But I should be washing it up tomorrow before the scrapeyard meet. Just recently had a full cage put in by the man Dan. And I just actually just recently put that hydro handbrake in as well. But I'm pretty excited for this season to finally fucking start. Our track's been underwater. I'm sure most of my viewers are already aware of that. But yeah, if you guys want a little breakdown on this car, just put it in the comments. Just kidding, he's not that low. Anyways, this is my fist, and this is Josh Clark. <laughs> we already filmed this, but we're gonna try it again. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> this is my 1993 Nissan Skyline GTS. It's a RB20E single cam, super slow but still bogeys. The manual. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I just got it a couple weeks ago from a dealer in Washington. They shipped it here. Okay. Uh, right now, fuel pumps out of it, and Nick here is lovingly helping me do that. Right. Yeah, I, I already talked about it a little bit in the video, but. Today we're just putting the radio in. I yeah. already mentioned that as well. Yeah, the radio, we got a friend here to put it in because mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. This is uh, Investy. This is Cowler Nasty. He's the fucking. Oh, he got the cold snacks. Hot one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what do you guys think about the heat? I know you haven't been out here very long. It sucks. I work <laughs> in a warehouse. Yeah. How was working at Mazda today? Uh, How's your balls? Uh, fresh out of the shower, but sweaty again. <laughs> yeah. Gonna take the shit box with no AC, start it up. <laughs> so no. no I'm taking one with AC. Still came down with the windows down now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here she is in all her powerful glory. Yeah, I was actually too embarrassed to ask when uh, when you when I first came up on the vehicle that I saw it. I was like, "That's the strangest looking RV I've ever seen." It doesn't really look like an RV until you really look at it. Mm -hmm. Zaxia. Here's the fuel pump we pulled out the other day. Such a fucking strange design. You have your you have the, the fuel pump cover. And then, you, normally when you pull this out, it's, like, the fuel pump is already built into it, but it had this long-ass fucking hose to where the fuel pump was. Did you see that? Isn't that fucking weird? I don't know, like, granted, I haven't fucked around with a whole lot of Nissans, but I do believe that this is very odd. <laughs> but I was looking at S14 fuel pumps, and it seemed like, an image I found looked exactly the same, so I don't know if S14s are like this or what. So here's what Big Daddy Kyle is going to be installing. You want to pull it out? That's what she said. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Instructions. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that's a shallow boy. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Well, they're normally, they're like yeah. deeper. Yeah, they're like oh. twice as big. Okay. Got a microphone. The pigtail. Yeah. Looks pretty, 
this one was. Where'd you get it at? eBay? Best Buy. Best Buy. I will tell you guys though, it is so strange. I've walked up to the wrong side of this car every, almost every time I've come up to it. <laughs> what do you think about being on the right side? Oh, it's a good feeling. A new, <laughs> a new feeling. <laughs> you want to tell them about the Subaru you just bought? Yeah, I got me a former, former uh, postal wagon <laughs> Subaru Legacy 99 for 450 bucks. It's uh, the last guy, yeah, like a timing idler fall off and uh, pistons and the valves met. So I'm gonna have to tear that engine out and take a look at it. So some of this has already been done. It already has the aftermarket head unit in it. Uh, but I guess the, if you don't want to break trim panels and stuff, you know, just, and you have no idea how to do something and there's no information online, you know, just to go at it, just kind of pull up. And once you start feeling tension on something, then you know there's probably more behind it. Like you might have to take something else off. So I popped that up, I felt some tension. Uh, this was right here. I pulled that out and then sure enough, there's two Phillips down there And I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff To pull off behind this actually nope. So Pretty straightforward so far uh, Just a couple connectors. It's kind of interesting seeing these little splices in here it makes you wonder what what was in here before so we wound up finding three more screws underneath there. Oh, it's gonna go all the way over here. Oh, this whole thing is one, one unit. One big unit. <laughs> so yeah, we, we thought there might be some more screws around here, but you know, if you just gently kind of pry around, you'll see that it just kind of comes out of there. He's got some connectors over there, obviously. bunch of connectors right here. Does it help? Is the steering wheel all the way down? Maybe that's oh, what's up. So we got that whole bezel off. Now we're taking the... Is it just the radio or is the climate control coming out with it? Um, those bolts probably stay. Let's see. There's two more down here. There's a ground. Ground on that one. So as far as radio removal, it seems pretty simple and straightforward. Oh no. Oh. That, that's a fucking unit. Jesus. Oh my god. The fucking JDM hackery. Look at this disaster. The white people will never figure out there is a radio. <laughs> <laughs> It looked pretty hack until I realized that it's all labeled and fucking bold style connectors. And if uh, somebody could uh, help me remember to hit record, <laughs> did you not did record? Did you record? That? No. <laughs> what do you think of the right hand drive light, baby? <laughs> what do you think, baby? You like it? You do. Can't see over the steering wheel yet, though, huh? You helping, baby? Get all your tools. Whoa. Whoa. That's 
a heavy one. That's a 40 ounce. Explain yourself. Uh, well, I was kind of tired of sitting there, and I wanted to take my antenna out, and I took everything out. I got the antenna out. It took me a little bit, because, you know, that ain't going to be used no more. And I was like, yeah, we don't need carpet or a spare wheel, so, you know, we're going to leave that there so it looks semi-decent. <laughs> so we got the pigtail all wired up electrical tape so it's not a fucking rat's nest anymore and it's always a good <laughs> it's a uh, turn it off first it's always a a good call to uh always test it before you reinstall everything Light. There's a light on there. Oh, man. Press volume knob. Select language. Yep. Is it on English? English. English. Cancel the demo. No, yes? yes. <laughs> demo off. Stand by. Well, they got it all installed two hours later. <laughs> but came out pretty good. The battery's disconnected right now, but they had to take that trim bezel off, but that's it for tonight. You guys have any uh, sign-offs? I guess you can't really see. Huh? Nah, <laughs> I think no? we're good. No, I'm sitting in the AC. Yeah, fucking big sweaty.